Hello, dear students. So last time we were studying motion of bodies in contact. Okay. So one more example on that. So these are two blocks, block A and block B, of mass m1 and m2. Okay. Uh, they are placed on an inclined plane. The angle of inclination at is theta, and this uh, all these surface they are smooth. Okay. External force capital F is applied on the block of mass m1. So because of it, the two blocks will accelerate in this direction of the inclined plane. Yeah. Right. Now the question is calculate the acceleration of the system number one and number second is that calculate the contact force between the blocks okay you have to calculate what the contact force so first of all let's calculate acceleration okay so a part z we are supposed to calculate acceleration and acceleration is simply like this it is equal to summation of all the external forces you have the summation of all the masses as simple as that okay, better? okay. now how many external forces are here number one is this external force capital a which is accelerating in the upper direction but in the downward direction, in this direction, there is a force and that's component of weight. And that is m1 plus m2 multiplied by g sin theta in this direction. Take now better? Okay. Then take those forces positive which are in the direction of acceleration implies capital F. You have to take positive. Okay. And those forces negative which are opposed to the direction of acceleration in this direction. There is a force and what's there? That's m1 plus m2 multiplied by g sin theta. You have to take that negative. Okay. So simply it's like this. If I will construct a free body diagram here for the blocks, so it is this here one block m1 plus m2 its direction of acceleration is this and in this direction there is a force capital f which is in the direction of the acceleration opposed to it is a component of the weight and that's how much that's m1 plus m2 multiplied by g sin theta the date which is down the inclined plane okay now you will have to take this positive take this negative okay then substitute here so acceleration is simply equal to capital f minus m1 plus m2 multiplied by g sin theta divided by the entire mass that is m1 plus m2 so acceleration is in turn equal to f divided by m1 plus m2 minus this divided by this will be g sin theta so minus g sin theta so this is the acceleration of the two blocks or of the entire system okay hi and then you want to calculate the contact force b part then you want to calculate the contact force fc again same the contact force between these two yeah the contact force so this is a contact force area fc hi again the procedure is exactly same the shortcut trick is exactly like the same there's contact force is equal to mass away away from the capital a away from the external force divided by total mass multiplied with the external force so simply it is mass away that m2 so it will be here m2 divided by total mass that is m1 plus m2 multiplied by capital a external force so this is a contact force is the hi Okay, and here you will have to memorize that this contact force Fc is independent, is independent of theta. It does not depend on theta. That means, for example, these two blocks they are the horizontal plane, then the contact force exactly same. If these two blocks they are the inclined plane, still the contact force is same. Take a bit up. Okay, so you pause screen and write. I will prove this equation. I will prove this equation. There's a shorter trip, but I will prove this equation as well. Okay, so you pause screen and write down. Okay, so I will prove this equation. In order to prove this equation, I will construct a separate free body diagram for M. Can I better? So this is a block here whose mass M. Okay, now how many forces are there on the M2? Simply there is only one, and that is this contact force in the upper direction, number one. In this direction, okay. Or I will show it like this. In this direction, there is force, and there is Fc. This one contact force in this direction. And this is a direction like acceleration. And in this direction, there is a component of weight of this block that is m2g sin theta, which is down the inclined plane. Is the shame m2g sin theta? Is the shame fc this contact force? Okay. And I have to calculate this contact force. I have to prove that this contact force is given by this equation. Okay. So let's prove it simply. We'll use the NLM second, Newton second law motion. What's that? Ma, mass and acceleration is called summation of all the external forces. Okay. Now what's the mass of this? That is m2 multiplied by a m2 multiplied by its acceleration and acceleration we have already calculated and how much is that capital m divided by m1 plus m2 okay minus g into sine theta minus g sine theta pi okay so this here this acceleration i substitute here that's equal to summation of all the external force so how many force are there there are two different forces one force is this fc and what is the another force fc minus m2 into g sine theta right okay now i will multiply this m2 here to this equation and to this equation so we are where we are here this is m2 multiplied by f divided by 
एम वन प्लस एम टू माइनस एम टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ये साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स माइनस एम टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी साइन थीटा और दिस टर्म एंड दिस टर्म इज कैंसल सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स ऑफ फाइनली कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स बिकम्स एम टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एफ डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू एज सिंपल एज दैट ठीक है ना बेटा सो दैट मीन इफ देर आर टू ब्लॉक्स आर मोर देन टू ब्लॉक्स ओके दे आर ऑन इनक्लाइन प्लेन एंड यू विल हैव टू कैलकुलेट वॉट कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स इजिली कैन कैलकुलेट कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स सिंपली इक्वल टू द मास अवे फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्न फोर्स डिवाइड विद द टोटल मास द सिस्टम मल्टीप्लाइड विद एक्सटर्न फोर्स एज सिंपल एज दैट एंड इज कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स विद इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दिस दिस कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स इज प्रपोर्शन थीटा इज फॉर जीरो मीन दैट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ थीटा इट डज नॉट डिपेंड अपन दीटा हाई ओके सो पॉज क्रीज एंड राइट टाइम इसको बेटा यहाँ पर Okay, another example. So the question is like this: These are three different blocks. Mass two kg, five kg, three kg, and an external force of 100 newtons applied in this direction of the inclined plane. And this angle is given to it is 30 degree. Now the question is calculate the acceleration. Obviously, it will accelerate in this direction. And you have to calculate what's the value of the acceleration, what's the contact force between the blocks A and B, and then between B and C. Fine. Okay, let's try to calculate it. So simply again, acceleration will be equal to summation of all the external forces. That will be summation of all the masses. ठीक है ना बेटा ना हाउ मेनी एक्स वन फोर्स आर दियर नंबर वन इज दिस दैट इज हंड्रेड माइनस अनदर फोर्स इन द डाउन डायरेक्शन इन दिस डायरेक्शन देयर द फोर्स एंड व्हाट्स दैट दैट इज टू प्लस फाइव प्लस थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जी साइन थीटा दैट इज साइन थ्री डिग्री ठीक है ना बेटा सो दैट विल बी हियर सो हाउ मच इज दैट इट इज लाइक दिस टू प्लस फाइव प्लस थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जी साइन थीटा दैट इज साइन थर्टी डिग्री डिवाइड बाई सम ऑफ ऑल द मासिस हाउ मच इज दैट दैट इज टू प्लस फाइव प्लस थ्री ओके Then acceleration will be in turn equal to 100 minus. This is here 2 plus 5 plus 3 is 10. 10 g is 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by sine 30 degrees. How much? That's 1 by 2 divided by 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. So it will be equal to this is 10 times 100 divided by 2 is 50. 100 minus 50 is 50. It will be 50 divided by 10. That's 5 meter per second square of the inclined plane. ठीक है ना बेटा? Okay, so this is answer. And then you want to calculate what contact force? So let's calculate contact force. Okay, and the shortcut to calculate the contact force is what? So first of all, let's calculate the contact force between A and B. So F A B, F A B. At this point, we have to calculate the contact force between A and B. Okay, it will be equal to mass away. Now the mass away from the hundred is five plus three. So mass away it is five plus three. Divided by total mass two plus five plus three multiplied by external force that is hundred. You know, better. So it will be equal to eight divided by ten multiplied by hundred. This and this will cancel. It will be eighty newton. Is the contact force between blocks A and B? Then you want to calculate the contact force between the blocks B and C. So at this point, again mass away that's three. Mass away implies away from the hundred newton. Okay, that's three divided by total that's ten multiplied by external force that's hundred. So this and this will cancel. Answer is thirty newton. So we have calculated the contact force between the blocks A and B and between the blocks B and C as well. Hi. Simple. Okay. So again, you like to see that the contact force is independent of the theta. That's the matter. Whether these blocks are on the horizontal plane, contact force will be same, or whether these blocks are on the inclined plane, contact force will be exactly same. Okay. So pause the screen. Write down. This is the last example on motion of bodies in contact. Okay. Now next topic will be motion of connected bodies. The bodies which are connected by strings. Okay. Okay, so next sort of topic is motion of connected bodies. Okay, now the assumptions are this. Number one is that all the surfaces are smooth. We assume that there is no friction force. Later on, we will introduce the friction force in NLM second. And number second is that all the strings are massless, frictionless, and unstretchable. Massless implies that their mass is very, very small compared to the mass of the block. For example, this is string here and this block. Suppose this block it has mass 10 kg. Now this it has the mass of suppose 0.02 gram. So that means we can neglect this mass compared to this mass. Okay, it's massless. Later on, we'll do a problem if, for example, the strings are massive, then what to do in such a situation? Okay. Next is that these strings are frictionless, and next is that when the strings are frictionless, only in such a situation the tension in the string throughout will be same. From here to here, the tension is same. Only if it is frictionless, and number second is that only if it is massless, and they are unstretchable as well. Okay, so they are not made of plastic material. They are uh, completely unstretchable. Fine. Okay. Now, type first is this. This is a block which is hanging from this uh, from this string. And now the question is calculate the tension of the string. 
we'll have to calculate what the tension the string okay so simply this block is at rest implies that the net force on this block is zero now how many force are there on this block there is number one tension and number second weight so only these two force are there so in the vertically downward direction there is weight and tension is along the length of the string okay so in this very case it's upwards there is no normal action because there is there are no two surfaces in contact okay now better now this block is there there is there is one force tension the upward direction there is weight and downward direction now what is the acceleration of this block obviously is zero the acceleration will be zero implies that summation of all the force will be zero or simply upward force so acceleration is equal to zero this in turn implies summation of all the external force must be equal to zero so this in turn implies that this t must be equal to mg simply so we have calculated the tension string so t will be equal to mg for example if suppose suppose this mass of the block is given to it is 10 kg let's suppose it is 10 kg then in that will case the tension will be simply equal to 10 multiplied by 10 which is 100 newton this is the tension string as simple as that ठीक है ना बेटा ओके सो लेट्स डू वन मोर एग्जांपल सो लेट्स डू वन मोर एग्जांपल एग्जांपल नंबर 2 इज लाइक दिस सपोज दैट हियर वी हैव अ रिजिड सपोर्ट एंड हियर वी हैव अ स्ट्रिंग एंड दिस हियर वन ब्लॉक एंड दिस अनदर ब्लॉक एंड इट्स मास इज m1 इट्स मास इज m2 ठीक है ना बेटा ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज कैलकुलेट द टेंशन इन द टू टू स्ट्रिंग्स वन स्ट्रिंग इज फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर सपोज टेंशन इज t1 अनदर स्ट्रिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट सपोज टेंशन इज t2 एंड नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज कैलकुलेट द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग्स okay take na beta okay so first of all let's calculate this tension string in this is t2 okay so for that what i have to do is this this is a block here its mass is m2 in the upward direction there is a force that is t2 in the downward direction there is a force that is weight m2 multiplied by g so since this block is at rest implies its acceleration is zero implies that the force in the upward direction must be equal to the force in the downward direction so simply this t2 will be equal to m2 multiplied by g as simple as that ठीक है ना बेटा नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग दिस T1 ओके सो देयर इज अ ब्लॉक आई विल कंस्ट्रक्ट अ थ्री बॉडी डायग्राम दिस M1 plus M2 कंबाइन अ थ्री बॉडी डायग्राम इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन कंबाइन अ थ्री बॉडी डायग्राम देन दिस टेंशन इज T1 इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन देयर इज इट्स वेट एंड देन M1 plus M2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय G नाउ यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट T1 सो दिस इंटर एम्प्लाई सिंपली T1 मस्ट बी इक्वल टू M1 plus M2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय G सो दिस इज द आंसर टू दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके So simply acceleration is zero implies that net force in the upward direction must be equal to the net force in the downward direction. Here we have constructed the complete free body diagram. So this is T1 is equal to M1 plus M2 multiplied by G and T2 is equal to M2 multiplied by G. Okay, can I beta? Later on I will show a shortcut trick as well. Okay. So to every problem in NLM I will show a shortcut trick. Okay, can I beta? Then in examination, for example, in NEET or the JWE, you will not do like this. You will simply use a shortcut trick. Okay, can I beta? So as to consume smaller amount of the time. Okay. So again, pause the screen and write it out. So one more example. Okay, now these are three different blocks: mass m1, m2, m3, connected by strings which are massless, unstretchable, and frictionless. Okay. Now the question is: they are calculate the tension the strings t1, t2, and t3. Fine. So again, I will calculate. First of all, let's construct a free body diagram for this m1. This here m1 in the downward direction there is a force and its weight in the upward direction there is force that is tension the string t1 so simply its acceleration is how much zero implies that the force in the upward direction must be equal to the force in the downward direction so t1 is simply equal to m1 multiplied by g as simple as that take na beta now we have to calculate t2 okay in order to calculate t2 we will construct free body diagram combine it free body diagram for m1 and m2 okay like this. Simply like this. This here block whose mass m1 plus m2. So upper ki disha mein tension and what's that? T2. Niche ki disha mein weight m1 plus m2 multiplied by g. Again, it's that rest implies its velocity is zero and acceleration is also zero. Okay, so upper wala force equal to niche wala force. Simply T2 will be equal to m1 plus m2 multiplied by g. ठीक है ना बेटा? And then suppose you want to calculate T3. So construct a Combine the body diagram of M1 plus M2 plus M3. Upper ki disha mein hai tension T3. Niche ki disha mein hai weight and that M1 plus M2 plus M3 multiplied by acceleration due to gravity G. So upward force simply equal to downward force. So T3 is equal to M1 plus M2 plus M3 multiplied by G. Bas ho gaye. So we have calculated all the tensions in three strings T1, T2, and T3. Okay. Now the shortcut trick is like this. Simply shortcut trick is like this. 
that the tension in any string is contributed by the mass that lies below. As in places, tension here because the mass below so m1 g, tension here because the mass below so m1 plus m2 multiplied by g, tension here contributed by the mass below that's m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by g. Taken a better. The shortcut trick. So the shortcut trick for this is short trick is like this that the tension in this string t is equal to is equal to mass below simply mass below multiplied by acceleration due to gravity g as simple as that you can, you can do this example now orally like this calculate tension t1 mass below is m1 so simply it is m1 plus m1 multiplied by g tension t2 now below this string the mass is m1 plus m2 so it is equal to m1 plus m2 multiplied by g and then you want to calculate this mass below m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by g multiplied t3 taken up it up okay so you, you just memorize the shortcut trick okay then you can write down one more you can modify this equation a bit you can write like this plus minus a my plus minus a implies that if the system is accelerating upwards or accelerating downwards taken up it up but in all these cases acceleration is zero that's it that's why it's equal to mass below multiplied by g okay so you write down this a, a of highlight color bit copy pin a highlight color a shortcut trick okay so pause screen write this example okay same format okay there are four different blocks 2 kg 3 kg 10 kg 5 kg Question is calculated in some different strings. Now straight away use the shortcut technique, and that tension in string is contributed by the masses that like below, not by the mass that like above. Taken a better. Okay, so simply you want to calculate T1 will be equal to mass below is 2. So 2 multiplied by G that's equal to 20 Newton. Tension T2 is how much? You will better how much it is? Mass below is 2 plus 3 is 5. So simply 5 G that is 50 Newton. Tension T3 mass below is 10 plus 3 is 13, 13 plus 2 is 15, so that is 15 g or that is equal to 150 newton. Tension T4 is mass below how much is that? That is uh, 10 plus 3 is uh, 13 plus 2 is 15 plus 5 is 20, so 20 g, so that is how much? That is 200 newton. Let's go there. Simple. No rocket science in it. Okay, pause screen, write it down. Okay, this is an elevator, a box that's accelerating upward at with an acceleration of A. This is a block which is hanging inside with the help of a string. This string is again massless. Now the question is calculate the tension string. Okay, now we have to calculate tension string, but this time the elevator is accelerating upwards. Take another time. Now suppose that the observer is here somewhere here. This is the observer. Okay, so this is observer. Take another time. Now to this observer, it seems this block is moving the upward direction with the acceleration A. Now the question is, question to this observer is, construct free body diagram for this block so he will construct the free body diagram like this of the equator this here mass m and let's try to construct the free body diagram okay so how many forces are there on this block obviously only two forces number one tension and number second weight to upper ki disha mein kya hai force that's tension niche ki disha mein that's weight m multiplied by g and is this block at rest or accelerating obviously accelerating not at rest in which direction is accelerating downwards or upwards? Obviously upwards. So the acceleration is upwards. So in this very case, summation of all the force must not be equal to zero. It cannot be equal to zero. So we use here NLM. Newton second law of motion. NLM second. Newton second law of motion. And what is Newton second law of motion? That's simply like this. Mass into acceleration is equal to summation of all the forces. Taken a better. Okay. Now mass into acceleration is okay. Okay, that's m multiplied by a will be equal to summation of all the force now how many forces are there two forces that is tension and weight then take that force positive which is in the direction of the acceleration and take that force negative which is opposite to it so this is in the direction take this positive and take this negative so it will be equal to t minus mg okay now from there you can calculate the tension string so it will be ma plus mg will be equal to t which implies t is equal to m into g plus a this is answer Okay, take another better. Now suppose another example is like this. Another example is like the same elevator, same block mass m. It is going downwards with an acceleration of a. Again, same question. Calculate the tension in string. This is another example. You have to calculate tension in the string. What is the tension in string? So again, we'll construct free body diagram. So, this free body diagram. What will be? Better. 
हाउ मेनी फोर्सेस दो ऊपर की नीचे वेट एक्सलेटिंग डाउनवर्ड्स एंड अपवर्ड्स डाउनवर्ड्स सो अगेन इन दिस वे की समेशन ऑफ ऑल द फोर्स विल नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो दैट विल बी इक्वल एम ए सो व्हाट आई विल राइट हियर इज दिस एम ए इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ ऑल द फोर्सेस नाउ इट विल बी इक्वल टेक दिस पॉजिटिव टेक दिस नेगेटिव बिकॉज़ दिस इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द एक्सेलरेशन एंड दिस पॉजिटिव इट सो इट विल बी इक्वल टू एम जी माइनस टी तो वहां से क्या निकलेगा बेटा टी सो टी विल बी इक्वल टू एम जी माइनस एम ए और टी इज इक्वल टू एम इनटू जी माइनस ए सो दिस इज द आंसर टू दिस प्रॉब्लम ठीक है ना बेटा so that means positive sign then it's accelerating upwards negative sign then it's accelerating in the downward direction and a will be equal to 0 if this system is at rest theek hai na beta okay so pause screen write down this example number 6 okay another problem These are two blocks, M1, M2. They are again placed in an elevator of uh, whose which is accelerating upwards in an acceleration of a. Question is again calculate tension and strain. That is T1 and T2. Okay, so let's try it out. Okay, so first of all, let's calculate T1. In order to calculate T1, we have to construct free body diagram for M1. Okay, na beta. So this is M1. Suppose this is M1. Okay, na beta. Okay, so in the upward direction there is a force that is T1. Downwards there is weight which is M1 multiplied by g. Then it's accelerating upwards and downwards, obviously upwards with an acceleration of a. Again, you use the Newton's second law motion. And what's Newton's second law motion? That's like this: mass into acceleration is m1 multiplied by a. This equal summation of all the forces. So m1 multiplied by a will be equal to upper ki dishame positive because in the direction of acceleration, niche ki dishame negative. So it will be d1 minus m1 multiplied by g. ठीक है ना बेटा ओके सो फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन कैलकुलेट टी1 सो इट विल बी लाइक दिस m1 a plus m1 multiplied by g is equal to t1 और t1 is equal to m1 multiplied by g plus a आंसर ओके नाउ सपोज यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट व्हाट t2 इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट t2 वी विल कंस्ट्रक्ट अ कंबाइनेड फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर m1 एंड m2 सो एज टू अवॉइड t1 इफ वी कंस्ट्रक्ट फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर m1 plus m2 in that very case t1 will form the internal force like this this force and this force they form internal force and internal forces don't contribute to the acceleration theek hai na beta so in that very case it will be like this for example this a combined system whose mass is m1 plus m2 to niche ki disha mein ek force hai that's weight which is m1 plus m2 mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity that is g upar ki disha mein aur ek force and that is tension t2 and it accelerates us in the upward direction with an acceleration of a again you use what newton second law motion and what's that that's like this mass of acceleration that's m1 plus m2 multiplied by a is equal to take this positive this negative t2 minus m1 plus m2 multiplied by g that means this will become like this m1 plus m2 multiplied by a plus m1 plus m2 multiplied by g is equal to t2 So T2 will be in turn equal to m1 plus m2 multiplied by g plus a. You can take this m1 plus m2 common. Then we are left with g plus a. So this is a tension string. ठीक है ना बेटा? Okay. Now if you keenly observe, the tension string this time will be equal to this. Tension is equal to mass below mass below multiplied by g plus minus a like this. ठीक है ना बेटा? Simply mass below. Now you can you can uh, with the help of this trick you can do this example as orally. For example, you want to calculate tension here T1. That will be equal to mass below is M1 multiplied by G plus A. This is positive because accelerating upwards. ठीक है ना बेटा? If it is at rest, then simply uh, mass below multiplied by G. If it is not accelerating, okay? This here T2 will be equal to mass below is M1 plus M2 multiplied by G plus A. As simple as that. So this very important trick. Okay? Important trick. Shortcut trick. ठीक है बेटा ओके सो पॉज की राइट इट आउट ओके फ्यू मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑन दिस क्वेश्चन एग्जैक्टली सेम दिस इज एलिवेटर इज एक्सेलरेटिंग अपवर्ड्स इन द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ 10 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर दिस अनदर एलिवेटर व्हिच इज एक्सेलरेटिंग डाउनवर्ड्स इन द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ 5 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज कैलकुलेट द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग्स सपोज द टेंशन हियर दैट इज T1 व्हिच वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट टेंशन T2 टेंशन T3 ओके So shortcut trick is like this: tension is equal to mass below or above below, mass below multiplied by g plus minus e. 
ठीक है ना बेटा पॉजिटिव एंड एक्सलरेटिंग अपर्ड्स एंड नेगेटिव एंड एक्सलरेटिंग डाउनवर्ड्स ए विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो इफ इट्स नॉट एक्सलरेटिंग इफ इट इज एट रेस्ट आर मूविंग विद अ कांस्टेंट वेलोसिटी इन दैट केस केस एक्सलरेशन विल बी जीरो नाउ यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट टी1 कंट्रीब्यूट टू द मास बिलो दैट इज 2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जी प्लस ए दैट इज 2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जी इज 10 ए इज 10 सो 20 सो दैट इज 40 न्यूटन ठीक है ना बेटा एंड द सेम यू वांट टू कैलकुलेट टी2 विल बी इक्वल टू मास बिलो दैट 3 प्लस 2 इज 5 Multiplied by g plus a, then you can do it yourself. T3 will be equal to mass below that's 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. So 10 multiplied by g plus a. And try yourself. You can do the calculations. Okay, easier calculations. Then here you want to calculate suppose tension here that's T1. Here T2 or here T3. Then we will calculate T1. T1 will be again mass below. Mass below. How much is that? What's the mass below? That's 6 multiplied by g. Plus or minus? Minus because this is accelerating downwards. So minus a. So it will be equal to 6 into 10 minus 5. That is 6 multiplied by 5, which is equal to 30 newton. The tension T2 will be mass below that 6 plus 4 is 10 multiplied by g minus a. So again it is 10 multiplied by 10 minus 5 is 5. So that is equal to 50 newton. Then you want to calculate tension T3 in this term. Okay, mass below is how much? 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20 multiplied by g minus a that is 20 multiplied by 10 minus 5 is 5 so that is equal to 100 newton this is the tension in the string t3 this tension string t2 and this is the tension string t1 okay so just memorize this this shortcut trick very very important for doing these types of problems take it better okay pause screen write it down This problem has been asked in new 2013. These are the three different blocks mass m, mass 2m, mass 3m, and in this entire system is moving upwards with a constant velocity. So the question is calculate the net force on the block of mass 2m. So on this video block, you will have to calculate what's the net force. Okay. Now, what is the velocity of this block? Velocity is v and it's constant. Velocity is constant. When velocity is constant, so acceleration is zero. When acceleration will be zero, so that simply means that the net force on this block is zero. So it has constant. Net force on this block is zero. Ask the new 2030. Okay. Velocity constant, acceleration zero, net force zero. Okay. So pause the screen, write it down. Okay, another format now. Now again, these are blocks, they are connected by strings. Strings are again massless and all that. Okay. But this time uh, these blocks are placed in horizontal surface, a rigid horizontal surface like this, like a table. Okay, now they are being pulled in this direction. The block A is being pulled with the force capital F. So obviously, this entire system will accelerate in this direction. Okay, this surface they are smooth. Later on, we'll introduce the rough surface as well in the uh, in the chapter number second of uh, Newton's second law, uh, Newton's law of motion. Take it up, Now the question is that calculate the acceleration of the system or calculate the acceleration of the blocks and acceleration of this block and this block will be same because they are connected by the string. Take it up, beta. Okay, for example, acceleration of this is 2 meter per second square. That means acceleration of this will be 2 meter per second square of this point, 2 meter per second square, 2 meter, 2 meter, 2 meter of this block also 2 meter per second square. Only then they can be combined. Take it better. And next is that you will have to calculate the tension in the string. In this uh, string, you will have to calculate the tension. Okay, you can show the tension like this towards right or towards left. Like this. This tension T implies the force applied by the string on the block B. And this tension T implies the force exerted by the string on the block A. Okay, so you can shoot in this direction or in this direction. Okay, fine. But the tension throughout the length will be same because we assume that the string is is what massless. It's not massive. It does not have any mass. Okay. So let's try to calculate first of all acceleration. Now it's very easy to calculate acceleration. Again, same formula, Newton's second law of motion. Summation of all the external forces divided by summation of all the masses. Okay, beta. Now how many external forces are there? Only this capital M okay now this is a force capital f so this t and t they will form the internal forces and they don't contribute to the acceleration acceleration contribute only by this there are even more forces that is normal reaction upwards and weight downwards but they will they will be uh, counterbalanced against each other so m1g in the downward direction m1 the upper direction so they will cancel in pairs and to upwards m2g they will be same so they will cancel in pairs okay so the external force left is only this capital f okay so here i will write down what Capital F divided by summation of all the masses. That's what. That's simply m1 plus m2 plus ho gai acceleration. As simple as that. Take a better. Now we'll calculate tension the string. Okay, we'll construct three body diagram for the block P. But again later on I will be a shortcut trick. And for the competitive exams, you will not be constructing three body diagrams. Rather you will be what? 
using the shortcut trick okay same thing to save the time okay take it a bit cracking competitive exam is not only about doing the problem but it's about doing the problem in the stipulated time in the minimum possible time okay that's why the shortcut tricks are again and again okay time and again will be introduced in the shortcut tricks okay now we have to calculate the tension string so in order to calculate the tension the string will construct free body diagram for the block b so let's do that so this here block b its mass how much that is m2 ठीक है ना बेटा, so let's consider free body diagram. Now how many forces are there on this? There is this external force that is tension in this direction T. Okay, I will not show n to an m to g because they will cancel at the pairs. ठीक है ना बेटा? Okay, simply I have to calculate this. So this system accelerates in this direction. This block accelerates in this direction with an acceleration of a. So what I will do is this. I will uh, I will uh, write down the Newton's second law motion. What is that? That's mass and acceleration will be equal to summation of all the forces. Now for this PD block, what is the mass of the block? That's m two. Multiplied by acceleration is a equal to summation of all the external force simply t. There are external force like normal direction and like weight, but they will cancel in pairs. Take another one. Okay. So next, what I have to do is this. Is this I have to calculate tension string. So this is m2 multiplied by. Now, take a look at this. F divided by m1 plus m2 is equal to t. So simply t will be equal to m2 multiplied by f divided by m1 plus m2. So this is the tension string. ठीक है ना बेटा ओके सो दिस इक्वेशन सिंपलेस्ट ऑफ द लॉट देन यू विल हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टेंशन स्ट्रिंग सिंपली कंस्ट्रक्ट फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर दिस यू कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर द ब्लॉक ए एज देयर एंड द आंसर विल बी एग्जैक्टली सेम बट आई अवॉइडेड कंस्ट्रक्टिंग फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर द ब्लॉक ए द रीजन इज देयर फॉर द ब्लॉक ए देयर आर टू एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस टी एंड एफ सो द कैलकुलेशन बिकम्स अ बिट डिफिकल्ट बट द आंसर विल बी सेम इन बोथ द केस वेदर यू कंस्ट्रक्ट फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर द ब्लॉक बी और यू कंस्ट्रक्ट द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम फॉर द ब्लॉक ए बट फॉर द ब्लॉक ए it becomes a bit difficult theek okay, hai na beta okay so there's only one force on this but on this there are two force tension force external force capital a theek hai na beta so we are done with this so you write it down okay another example same format three blocks on the horizontal surface external force capital a pulling them Mass m1 m2 m3. We have to calculate the acceleration of the system or the acceleration of the individual blocks. That will be same. And tension two string that is t1 and t2. ठीक है ना बेटा? Okay. So let's try it out. So first of all, you have to calculate acceleration a part. That is simply equal to summation of all the external forces. That is summation of all the masses. There is only one external force, capital F. Masses m1 plus m2 plus m3 plus four here. ठीक है ना बेटा? Okay. Then now b part is that you want to calculate what? Uh, tension string. Okay, so let's try to calculate the tension string. Okay, so tension T1. First of all, let's calculate T2. Okay, in order to calculate T2, I have to construct the free body diagram for the M3. Then I'll show a shortcut technique as well. Okay, so this is M3. Now, how many forces are there? M3 only one. That is T2, and it's accelerating like this with an acceleration of uh, a. Now you'll have to calculate T2. So let's try to calculate it. Use n m second. So M3 multiplied by a. M3 multiplied by will be equal to T2. ठीक है ना बेटा? So that means T2 is equal to m3 multiplied by a. a is this, so it is m3 multiplied by capital F divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. So this is the tension string. Take it up, beta. Okay. Then suppose that you want to calculate what tension in the string. Uh, then you want to calculate T1. In order to calculate T1, I will construct free body diagram for this. You can safely construct free body diagram for this as well. A bit complicated that becomes. Take it up, beta. So better that you construct free body diagram for block A. So this is block A. So this is block A here. This block A is mass is m1. Is the shame here? For external force that is capital F. Is the shame or a force that is T1? You can show it like this as well. T1. Take it up, beta. Okay. Now it accelerates in this direction with an acceleration of A. So again, mass of the acceleration is called summation of all the forces. <coughs> How many forces are there? Two forces. Take that force positive, which is in the direction of acceleration. And that force negative just opposite to it. So this is its mass is m1 multiplied by acceleration is a. How much is the acceleration? That's capital F divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. ठीक है ना बेटा? That's equal to summation of all the forces. That will be simply equal to F minus t1. Now we are in search of this t1. So let's calculate it. t1 becomes equal to here. I will write down like this m1. Sorry, it is equal to this one minus one minus m1 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3 multiplied by capital A. ठीक है ना बेटा? Okay, so simply this term will go here. This T1 goes here. 
so this is positive this is negative then take f comma we are left with this this is 1 minus this now go for the cross multiplication m1 and m1 will cancel so in the numerator there will be only m2 plus m3 in the denominator there will be m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by capital f external force okay take a bit now from this we can create a shortcut technique and that shortcut technique is like this they are a bit first of all there is no need of the shortcut technique for the acceleration simply equal to summation of all the external force that is summation of all the masses okay it's simple now so tension in this string will be equal to mass away shortcut technique is like this t is equal to mass away mass away divided by total mass total mass multiplied by the external force this is the technique okay for example you want complete t2 now you can do this problem orally with the help of this technique okay so you just highlight this this, this technique and write it on your notebook highlight it on notebook this is a shortcut trick very important shortcut trick now see suppose that you want to calculate t2 t2 will be equal to mass away this m3 there will be total m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by external force capital f we need answer m3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by capital f you want to calculate t1 t1 the tension in this string mass away implies this mass not this mass mass away minus mass away from capital a so mass away from capital F is M2 plus M3. M2 plus M3 divided by total, that's M1 plus M2 plus M3 multiplied by external force, that's capital F. So this, this trick is very, very handy. You can, with the help of this trick, you can do these problems orally. Okay? Now, if for example, you want to apply the Newton's second law motion, then obviously it is, uh, it is, it consumes more heat, and hence consumes more time as well. Okay? To save, to, so to save both uh, ink as well as time, uh, you have to write down the shortcut trick and it's very handy okay so almost every problem i have given a shortcut trick to do it okay so during competitive exams you will be using these shortcut tricks only take it up better okay so pause screen write down one more example but this time the data is given to you these are different blocks suppose this here block a of mass 10 kg block b of mass 5 kg C of 2 kg, D of 3 kg, okay. External force applied, that's 200 Newton. Obviously, this entire system will accelerate in this direction, okay. Now, the question is calculate the acceleration, A part, and B part is that calculate the tension string. Take a better. So, let's try to calculate the acceleration as well as tension string. A part is that you want to calculate the acceleration, will be equal to summation of all the external forces, that will be summation of all the masses, only one external force, what's that? Though so, there will be total mass, that is 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17, 17 plus 3 is 20. You can have it or 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. So 20, this and this will cancel. It is 10 meter per second squared. So acceleration in this direction will be 10 meter per second squared. And the acceleration of block A will be equal to acceleration of block B will be equal to acceleration of block C will be equal to acceleration of block D and that will be 10 meter per second squared. Now B part is that you want to calculate what contact forces or the tension string. Now T1 simple technique mass iv divided by total multiplied by external force taken a better t1 we have to calculate tension in this string and this is the force here 200 newton now with respect this 200 newton these masses are iv from this string taken a better okay so t1 will be equal to mass iv that is 5 plus 2 plus 3 divided by total that is uh, that is 10 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3 multiplied by external force what's that 200 from here you can calculate t1 okay so this will be our 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 so 10 here divided by 20 multiplied by 200 this and this will cancel so 2 ones are 2 tens are 20 so 10 tens are 100 so it is 100 newton t1 is 100 newton in the same way you suppose want to calculate t2 t2 so mass away mass away 3 plus 2 is 5 total 20 external 221s are 20, 20 10s are 200, so 50 newton. Tension T3, mass IV, 3, mass total 20, external force 200, 200, 21s, 20 10s, 10 3s, 30, 30 newton. So this is the tension string T3. Take another time. Okay. Now, if it's, uh, the, there can be concept of question like this as well. Suppose the force F, capital F, is slowly, slowly increased. Question is like this that the capital F is increased slowly, slowly. 
that which string out of these three strings which string will break first this string this string or this string that string will break first obviously in which the tension is greater okay na beta and now you see that the tension t1 is greater compared to t2 greater compared to t3 okay so simply this tension t1 t2 t3 is greater implies that this string will break first which is connecting a and b okay so very important point is this t1 is greater compared to t2 is greater compared to t3 okay so just mein jitna uh, tension okay there is more possibility that that string will break okay so very important problem we just pause screen right down another example slightly more complicated this time there are two external force 200 newton 100 newton and obviously 200 newton greater than 100 newton imply that the system will accelerate in this direction with an acceleration of a now the question is calculate this acceleration a and calculate t1 and t2 the tension of two strings okay na beta so first of all calculate acceleration a will be equal to summation of all the forces there is summation of all the masses now how many forces are this time two external forces 200 and 100 then take that force positive which is in the direction of acceleration take that force negative which is opposite so 200 is to be taken positive this is to be taken negative there is summation of all the masses that is 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 200 minus 100 is ठीक <laughs> अब ध्यान रखो बेटा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स एज्यूम दैट 200 न्यूटन इज देयर एंड 100 न्यूटन इज नॉट देयर एज्यूम दैट देयर इज ओनली 200 न्यूटन नाउ विद रिस्पेक्ट टू 100 न्यूटन फॉर दिस वेरी स्ट्रिंग मास ए इज 5 3 डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल दैट इज 10 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय दैट एक्सटर्नल फोर्स 200 देन फॉर सुपरपोजिशन ठीक है ना बेटा नाउ एज्यूम दैट देयर इज नो 200 बट देयर इज 100 नाउ विद रिस्पेक्ट 100 फॉर दिस वेरी स्ट्रिंग मास ए इज 2 With respect 100 in this uh, for this string mass I is 2 divided by total 10 multiplied by external force that is 100 then you can do it here sir okay so this and this will cancel this and this will cancel this here 5 plus 3 is 8 8 into 16 so 160 plus 2 times are 20 so the answer is 180 in the same way suppose you want to calculate t2 let's try to calculate t2 tension in this string. Again, let's assume that there is only 200. Now, with respect to 200, mass A is 5. Total is 10 multiplied by 200. Plus, now assume that there is only 100. There is no 200. With respect to 100, mass A in this is 3 plus 2. That's 5 divided by total. That's 10 multiplied by 100. Then this and this will cancel. This and this will cancel. So this is 5. Those are 10. That is 100. 5 times are 50. That is 150. Please understand. ठीक है ना बेटा ओके सो पॉजिटिव राइट डाउन अनदर एग्जांपल दिस अ ब्लॉक्स प्लेस्ड एंड क्लाइंब प्लेन ओके अगेन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एक्सेलरेशन एंड टेंशन इन द टू स्ट्रिंग्स सो अगेन यू विल से दैट एक्सेलरेशन इज इक्वल टू व्हाट समेशन ऑफ ऑल द एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस डिवाइडेड बाय समेशन ऑफ ऑल द मासेस हाउ मेनी एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस आर देयर दिस टाइम नंबर 1 इज कैपिटल एफ व्हिच इज इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन इट एक्सेलरेट्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन And number second is there the force there the component of weight which is in this direction and how much is there that is m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by g into sine theta the component of weight in this direction ठीक है ना बेटा so it will be simply this minus this divided by total so it's like this capital F minus m1 plus m2 plus m3 multiplied by g sine theta divided by net mass that is m1 plus m2 plus m3 then you can write it like this F divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3 minus G sine theta. This is the acceleration because of this capital F, and this is the acceleration because of this theta. Okay, so the subtraction of the two will be the net acceleration, and it will be upwards. Take note, beta. It can be upwards or it can be downwards, depending upon if this term is greater than this, this force will be positive, implies it accelerates upwards. If this term is less than this, it will be negative, implies it goes downwards with that acceleration. Take note, beta. Now B part is that you want to calculate tension. Again, same that this T is proportional to Theta raised to the power zero means that it is independent of theta. 
like we have already shown in normal reaction. Okay, so tension T1 will be again mass IV with respect to capital F is M2 plus M3 divided by total that is M1 plus M2 plus M3 multiplied by external force capital F. T2 tension in this string mass IV M3 divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3 multiplied by capital F. Okay, so we are done with the motion of the blocks uh, connected uh, connect mo this motion of the connected bodies. Okay, we are done with this. Okay, in the next lecture, we will do a couple of examples which are asked in the previously asked in GMA. And number next is that we will switch to uh, at force machine. Very, very important problem. Okay, so enough for today. Bye.